My mom was always committed to religious organizations, even when she worked full-time as an accountant and there was no money to give, she still gave her time. My dad was a World War II veteran and he had a heart of gold. If there was any letter that came in the mail asking for a donation, it would be returned with money. There was never a charity that he didn't feel in his heart needed something. My dad really taught me that there was nothing I can't do. The USF St. Pete campus is totally different from when I first began chairing the board. It was a commuter school. There was no center to campus. There was nothing for the kids to congregate at. I walk on campus today, there's always something going on. And there's a new business school building. There's a new graphic and design school building. There's collaboration with the Tampa Bay Times, All Children's Hospital, Florida Holocaust Museum. There's a feeling of belonging now. I always stop at the fountain. I always throw in coins and make wishes. I always look at the different pavers and see what they say, see who people have recognized. Florida Holocaust Museum, it's always been my passion because I, very much like my dad, I have a heart for those people that have suffered and I wanted to bring my USF involvement and my involvement with the Holocaust Museum together. The collaboration has brought about so many programs. There's the lecture series. The USF Library has the complete show of films. Carolyn Ellis taught several classes on how to interview survivors. So those survivors that did not have their interview taken had a venue to tell their story through these students. It was just a beautiful collaboration. When USF St. Pete named the Success Center after me, it was the most beautiful surprise I've ever had in my life. I could cry right now just thinking about it. When I think about the many buildings that have been named after Kate Teeterman, Peter Rudy Wallace, I am honored to be in their company. I couldn't have done anything without the help from my husband, my parents, and my in-laws. Nothing I did, I did alone. I stand on the shoulders of some amazing women leaders. Judy Genshaft, Helen Levine, Stephanie Goforth. Women are the best leaders. The word can't is in my vocabulary. It's why can't we? It's what my dad taught me. There's nothing I can't do.